Hey guys, it's Mike from MW3 Designs, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can install a milliamp meter in your K40 laser. Okay, as you see, we have our milliamp meter here, and on the back of this milliamp meter, uh, you have a, a small part, and then you also have like a larger hole. You might be able to kind of see, it just sticks out just ever, ever so slightly, maybe about an eighth of an inch, um, I was going to go with the, a large hole, but I think I'm actually going to drill a smaller hole and then maybe just use a file to make the notches out for those little oval areas there. And I don't really want to go drilling a huge hole in the, in the case of the K40 laser. So that's what we're going to do. And as you see here, I've marked off an area and we're going to actually mount this right next to the percentage meter uh, for the laser. And as you can see underneath here, uh, we don't have anything really here underneath. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually lay a shirt down to cover what we have inside there so the power supply doesn't get uh, any shavings in there or anything and we'll just put this right down and we'll go ahead and we'll make our make our hole okay so what i'm going to be drilling with is uh, i have one of these milwaukee shockwave uh, knockout drills and this is usually used for uh, like electrical boxes uh, you know making knockouts uh, this is one in three eighths I'm still going to have to file a little bit on the edges for those oval parts of the amp meter. But like I said, I don't want to really drill a large hole in the case. I want to just keep it small. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drill that hole. All right, as you see, we drilled the hole. Uh, that bit ate right through the metal, no problem. And we went, like I said, with the smaller hole. So the only thing we have to do now is we just gotta make a couple small reference marks uh, for where these little pieces notch out here a little bit and also where these uh, screws pop out. So just gonna make a couple quick reference marks here uh, where those will be. And as I just kind of eyeballing it, don't have to get too technical here. And uh, we're gonna get a file and we're just gonna file out a little bit of this to get this to fit in flush. All right, so we were going to go ahead and we were going to notch that out with a file or possibly a Dremel tool. But what I'm going to do is just make a couple of quick little holes here just to take off a lot of the material. And then we'll come back through and we'll clean it up with the Dremel tool. All right, here's the hole cut out. Uh, I went with the smaller hole and I notched out the sides. Uh, what I did is I ended up drilling a hole next to the larger hole and then just kind of tied in the two holes together with a Dremel tool. Uh, if I was to go back and do this again, I would just drill the larger hole. I think it would be easier. So if anybody's doing this, just go with that method. And that will take a peek here uh, under the cover. And as you see, the shirt that I put down, it did catch all the shavings, uh, kept everything away from the power supply. So I definitely recommend covering that up if you're going to be doing it with everything connected to the case. All right, so here's a peek at uh, the milliamp meter installed. Like I said, I got it right there next to the uh, power display percentage. And uh, we'll go ahead right underneath here and we'll take a peek at it. Uh, I did use a little hot glue around the uh, edges just to seal it so that, uh, you know, no dust or dirt gets down in there from the, the top. And uh, these are going to be our leads here that we're going to connect to the uh, laser tube. And we're going to do that right now. All right, so for this next step, I removed the uh, cover for the laser tube. And what you're going to want to look for is you're going to want to look for the negative side of the laser tube. And as you can see here, we have the thicker red wire, which is going to be our positive side. And then over down here on the other side, this is going to be the negative side here. So this is the wire that you're going to want to trace back into uh, the control panel. And that goes right back down and inside. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, we're going to open that control panel up. And we're going to see if we can find out where that wire comes in. Let's get some light in here. And, and as you can see, we have the black wire way down here. This is the one right here. And if I wiggle that wire, you can see the, you can see that black wire wiggling right there. And that's our wire. That's the one that we're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to file this back through and we're going to put a splice in this wire. All right. So we got that wire and it's coming right in through and it's coming into this wire loom. And as you can see, we follow it right here. And it comes into this loom, it comes up, 
it comes down around here. And if I pull on this, you can see it's that black one right there that's moving. This one right here. So this wire right here, I don't know if uh, all the power supplies are gonna be the same. Uh, yours might be different, not sure if uh, you know it's a standard power supply. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook that wire, we're gonna splice into it, and we're gonna get that ran up to the end. All right, so I have this black connector disconnected from the green connector going to our power supply. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna cut this connector right off. And then I'm gonna pull that wire back up through our loom here and uh, try to get it into this next wire loom and then just jump it over to where our uh, amp meter is gonna be. And if you can get it from the back of the loom here, you should just be able to pull it right through, just like that. And then I'm gonna get it going through the loom coming up to the top here. And that's gonna be right up here, Let's see if I can show you, right up to where our amp meter is gonna be. So we're gonna come back up, follow this loom and just jump right over. Okay, so here we are, we have the wire uh, pushed up through the loom, and this is the wire that actually goes right back out to the laser tube. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna pop on a little uh, ring terminal so that we can connect it to the amp meter. We're gonna go ahead and crimp that on. And we are gonna attach it to, uh, on this, on this uh, milliamp meter, there is actually a plus and a minus side. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So as you can see here, there's a plus and a minus. So you will be positive, negative. So the positive side, this side is going to be your line that goes right back out to the laser tube. And this negative one here, this is going to go right back down to our control box where we had taken off that uh, original wire that went right to the laser tube itself. So we're basically just putting the milliamp meter in line with the laser tube. All right, so now for the other side, this side right here is gonna go right back down to the power supply. And I try to keep the same colors and the same wire gauges if I can. Uh, sometimes you don't have the right stuff on hand, but if you get it pretty close, uh, you should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna feed this right back down in through the wire loom and back down to our power supply. And I'm only feeding this through because I just wanna keep everything uh, you know, nice and tidy and, and together here, so. All right, so we got our second wire ran through here. We got everything down going through the loom to keep it clean. And of course, I got the world's smallest off-scent uh, wrench here. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these connections. And now, like I said, uh, this one right here, this is going back down to the control panel. Let me give you guys a little look here. All right, so. Like I said, there is uh, one marked positive, which is this one, and one marked negative. And this one that's marked negative, this goes back down, and then that is going right back into this control box. And I don't have one of those fancy little red pin connectors, so we're just gonna strip off a little bit of the end there. And we're gonna put that right back in that slot. And we're gonna tighten that screw down. That should give us a nice secure connection there. Let's go ahead and check it, we're good. And then now this side here, which is labeled as positive on the milliamp meter, this goes all the way back down and uh, back through there and out to the laser tube. Okay, so one thing I wanna point out quick here, uh, if you can see the sweeping needle here, uh, you can see that it's not on zero. Uh, there is a small little adjustment screw here so that you can get that to zero. So before we do any tests or anything, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn that screw and we're gonna get that needle right to zero. Perfect. All right, so here we have it. We have the milliamp switch installed, and we are going to show you, let's say, let's go, uh, why don't we do 25% and see what we got here with the test. We're gonna hit this laser test switch. And that's where we're running at 25%, about six, seven milliamps.